Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in Chris's garage again. <laughs> so today we're gonna fix a noise that I've been having on the Jeep ever since we replaced the spider gears. I've been having like kind of like a squeaking uh, bearing sound. So we're gonna check it out, see if that's it. I did pick up the bearing in case we need to replace it, but I'm hoping we don't. And so yeah, let's get into it. Let's check it out and see if it is a bearing. Also, if you haven't seen, I just dropped some new flags and some American flag shirts. There are these two right here. So if you wanna pick one of those up, go on nodjaroffroad.com, help out the channel. And I really appreciate it if you do order something off the website. Thank you. We're gonna start off with lifting the Jeep and taking off the rear wheel. Now that we have the wheel off, to be able to access the axle shaft, you have to remove the brake caliper, which should be two bolts, one up here and one on the bottom. And then we, we move this out of the way. After that, you remove the disc brake and then there's four bolts back here that hold on the axle shaft. So you have to remove those before you actually start to pull on these. All right, so now we remove the brake caliper, the rotor, and then we remove the four bolts that are holding on these screws back here that hold on to this plate. That way it holds the axle shaft in. So the next step is we are going to put on this puller. With the puller, it makes the job so much easier and you can rent it out for free at you know your out-of-port store. So we're gonna do that next and take this off. So now that it's attached, we're just gonna slide the hammer and then it should pop out. There we go. Okay, so here is the bearing. It feels really loose. That does sound like it's grinding. Yeah. So I definitely think it is. The bearing that's bad. Yeah, I don't think a bearing's supposed to be moving this much. <laughs> and then when you rotate it, it does sound kind of crunchy. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could see that, but I think the bearing is the least of my issues right now. That thing looks so bad. It looks like it's turned. Um, twisted. twisted. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I th it might be the bearing making that noise still. It doesn't seem like, I don't know. I. I've never seen a bearing this loose. So this is what AutoZone gave me. So it doesn't look the same, but I don't know, we'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and change out the bearing since we already have it apart, might as well do it. And so we have to take off the race that's in here that holds the bearing in. And this just comes out pretty easy. You can use a screwdriver. I'm just using my fingers and it's coming out. There it is. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but check this out. I don't know, it's probably the bearing. <laughs> Well, we hope. So we're gonna go ahead and change it out. So we're gonna do some sketchy shit and try to hammer this uh, like a seal or I don't know what it's called. Chris says it's a race, I don't know. So we're gonna try to hammer that down so that we can access the bearing. So we ended up grinding it and it just cracked in half. So now we can actually hammer this thing out. Okay, so I cut that piece off as well with the grinder. So we're left with this from the bearing, so we have to cut this one off before we can put the new one on. All right, so the next step, we're gonna replace the seal. All right, so we have the seal in now. Next is the bearing. So we're gonna install the bearing next with the race going up. Okay, that's good now. Next thing is this one. Next thing we're gonna put on is this uh, spacer type of thing. I don't know what it's called. Don't judge me. Okay, so for this piece here, I actually threw it in the oven 400 for 15 minutes and we're turning to a cooking channel. And then I was able to actually hammer it down and put it in place. So now we're gonna put the whole thing in there. I wasn't able to take the race off of this. So I'm just gonna put it in there to get in place right here. So now that it's in there, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up and that'll hold in place. And we should be good after that. Hopefully no more noise. All right, so now everything's back in place. So we're gonna put the brakes back on. Uh, you should know how to do that. And also when you're putting this in, the plate on the back, it actually has a hole for the ABS down here. So make sure you line that up or else the screws aren't gonna go in. So I'm gonna put it back together and then take it for a test drive. All right, so it is back together. So now we're gonna drive it and see if it still makes noise. We are driving the Jeep and I don't hear any noise anymore. I would have heard it by now. So I think it's solid. It's, I mean, it's not solid because you guys saw the, the axle, but I mean, no more noise so I can daily drive it again. If this video helped you out changing out the bearing in your rear axle, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be, you know, happy to answer them. So it turns out the noise wasn't even the bearings, it was just the rotor. So I, yeah. 
anyways that'll be it for today's video so i'll see you guys on the next one peace